After more than 80 years, a classic radio production is being reinvented, and Cody is standing by now with more on the War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds. I have seen every iteration of this play slash TV show slash everything, uh, so I was very excited when I found out they were putting this on. Julie Akers joining us right now to tell us a little bit about what is going on with the War of the Worlds. Now, Julie, it is 2020. Do I need to tell people at home that aliens are not invading? Well, you could, but I'm not entirely sure that will be true because on October 24th at 7 p.m., they will be invading oh, on Main Street Theater Works' Facebook page. So there you go. <laughs> I think yeah. it's so it's a cool. Fun, it's a fun event. It is so cool because Thank you. so you've seen all of them, but you haven't seen this one. Oh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. and, the, and the fact that, like, yeah. you know, this originally started on the radio and it was such a big deal, the fact that you guys are doing it that way. I feel like it's so cool yeah. that we get to hear it in the in its original form. Yeah, we are. Uh, this is our tenth year of doing radio shows, a la Orson Welles and the Mercury Theater on the air. It's a big fundraising event for Main Street Theater Works, and so we're asking people to make a donation. Um, but you don't have to donate to watch it because it is on our Facebook page. And um, we're used to doing it live in front of an audience, but you'll be able, we filmed it, so now you're going to be able to watch it. We have the Foley effects, we've got the actors, we're good to go. It's going to oh, be really do. fun. You and get you'll the Foley see a few effects. little. Uh, now you, oh, yeah, this, you can't yeah. do a show like this without it. Yeah, exactly. All right, do, is that Orson Welles you have with you right there? Are we within royalty right here? This is, this. yes, this is uh, Alan yeah. Pons, otherwise known as Orson Welles. That's right, that's what I play. I'm the director of this whole little. Uh, Shabab here. Yeah. <laughs> now you can't have a voice like mine. I sound like Kermit the Frog. Clearly, you have a deep voice. Is that how you get the Orson gig? Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, the, this a whole thing was uh, a project I have had in the back of my mind over ten years ago to do radio shows again and to incorporate all the toys and all the stuff to do this. And this, this it just fell as a perfect opportunity. And I took it a little bit further by saying I'm going to concentrate on doing all the Mercury Theater on the air. Uh, just focus on their stuff and oh. not just uh, other, other shows. Right. That's cool. And we man. do our best to recreate it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we do and our we, best. To our, do our, our 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 method is is a little different than other theaters that might because this particular show is done all over the place now. They have scripts available and everything, but our method is that we actually recreate the broadcast with the original music. Uh, Little as behind the can. scenes stories yeah. that go on. We, we interact with yeah. some of that stuff that we try to recreate the sounds exactly the way we, we hear them. Right. If we, when we speak, we, we speak with the, with the, if they make a mistake and they say, mispronounce a word or whatever uh, it is, we'll do that too. We, wow. The timing, the seconds in between. So it's a lot of coordination. We monitor our clock back here to make sure we yeah. stay exactly within the hour of the original broadcast. So uh, okay, it's, it's we get a, a run, reproduction. Yeah. Uh, but you guys promised to perform part of the play for us coming up the next hour. We're going to give you a little. We're going to give you a little tease mm -hmm. and uh, more information at mstw.org. Perfect. All right. We'll see you guys in just a little bit. Stick around. We got.